this is an informational item, item 8B. Item 8B, staff report on CDBG in Hinojosa Park. Regarding uh, CDBG and a wholesale loan, uh, I'm also going to go ahead and just read the staff report so that um, the audience has the information as well. And, and for uh, purposes of uh, those members of the public that may not have been here at the prior meeting, uh, lots of detail is provided to the council regarding uh, this particular uh, loan and the signatures and the fact that CDBG was um, fine and, and understood the fact that. Uh, the signature was the name, was the person who resided on the property in the property owner. So, at the August 2017 council meeting, staff provided a report to council in response to concerns by section chief uh, from state office of housing and community development about a home rehabilitation loan that had been issued to a resident on Railroad Avenue. After the report to council, there were a few pending questions that council requested addi additional information on. Below you will find the pending items on, and information gathered. Question number one, or item number one, um, what are the requirements from CDBG regarding the makeup of the loan, the loan committee and was there a council member appointed to sit on the committee? Uh, CDBG does not have any requirements or guidelines who, of who should be included as part of the loan committee. They leave that up to the local agency. Historically, the city had participation of a council member on the committee. However, this council member was not appointed by the council to sit on the committee. The council member was approached by the grant coordinator and asked if they had the time to serve as a uh, committee member. The council member agreed as she had some extra time in her schedule that allowed serving a low commit as a low committee member. Item number two, is it possible to use a title company to handle the loans as they are being originated and construction is being completed? Historically, other agencies have access title companies for this purpose. However, this is only, they only assisted during disbursement of funds during construction, but not the management after. A title company would be brought in, one, in, in once a project was approved and would handle all the loan documents, reporting, title reports, and then disbursement funds through escrow account to the contractor. I understand many title companies no longer offer this service. If and when the city were to begin offering loans again, council can consider research, <coughs> researching title companies that still offer this service. Item number three, what was the final cost of the project and what was paid out to the contractor? The final cost of the project was 44,250. The contractor was paid the total of 44250 and you will find uh, the two checks attached. However, the balance owed to the city is 36750 The family was eligible for a 7500 some $7,500 grant through CDBG for their project. The criteria the family met to become eligible for the grant was incorporated, incorporating an energy efficient and savings component into the rehabilitation of their home and being a senior citizen at least 62 years old. And the guidelines for that are attached as well. Um, and you will notice that's 5.0 program grants. Was a, a deed of trust recorded? After review, a deed of trust was not found to be recorded. 
However, that was corrected and a deed of trust was recorded with the Fresno County Recorder's Office on October, and this is a correction I have noted on here, October 6, 2017. It's actually October 9, 2017. I've also stated, see the, dad, uh, the deed of trust attached. I have uh, handed that out today, so you all have the deed of trust with this uh, recorded stamp on there. Are there any questions? Do you have any questions or comments from council regarding this item? I have a few questions. My first question, okay, on, on question number one, I think uh, for the future, if, if we have more CDBG loans, we need to to put a, a city council member involved on, on these loans. Uh, my other question is on the deed of trust. So I have a copy here. But how this little trust was recorded if Emilio Hinojosa is not on the property? Because uh, only Maria Hinojosa is, is the owner. And why the city record a trust that someone is not the owner? And I know we went already through, through all the stuff and everything, but I, again, I want to make sure. So this is a uh, bio because I went to the, to the county and I, can, and I can find it. You couldn't find it? No. Uh, in, <clears throat> And I don't know if it's because Emilio Nojosa is on the deed of trust, but he's not the owner of the property. And we went back to the same issue we got a, a couple months back. So is your question... Um, so my question is, yeah, why he's on the deed of trust? Because he's not the owner of the house. He's currently not the owner? No, he's not. So that's my question. The owner is on the deed of trust. Well, it's in this one, but he's not on the, on the one that is recorded on the, uh, on the county. He is not the owner. The, Maria is the, is the owner, not mm -hmm. him. And she's the only one. Correct. So on the deed of trust that was recorded, we have both Emilio Hinojosa and Maria Hinojosa that have signed. But my question is why? Why is him if he's, if he's not the owner? Are you indicating that there's two deed of trusts? Well, I'm not sure if it's two, but, but my question is so why the city is putting a deed of trust on someone that is not on property? So that's my question. Okay. Is that how the open is written? So, uh, Mr. Arnelas, um, if you'd like, uh, mm -hmm. if council would like, uh, I could look into it and determine whether it was inappropriate for his name to be included or whether it's fine to have an extra name on the property since the key, the key element uh, is that Maria Hurtado, who is the property owner on the, on the deed, uh, it's like a someone being on my own, I own deal of trust, and, and sure. I be the only owner, and then somebody else being on my deal of trust, well, we're not being the I, owner of my property. It's not, it's, I don't see a detriment to the city, uh -huh. but if you'd like me to look into that, I can Well, with this, okay, what I don't want is like, you know, this loan, we've been discussing before, this loan happened in 95, so it's been happening like almost 15 years ago. So what happened if we have the, the same issue with this mm -hmm. loan in 20 years from now? Mm -hmm. So we're it's in the same, the yes, yeah. so we yes. want to be in the same situation. Yeah. So, so as our attorney has stated, she's going to look into it. I do want to note, though, that the property owner did sign the deed of trust. So Emilio Nojosa signed it, and I know I understand your concern is that he's not the property owner on the deed. However, that the property owner who is on the deed did sign it. So both of the signatures are here. Um, and in the event that she would no longer she would pass um the guy we would have to go to the guidelines to obviously ensure that everything is met with him not being on but going we went back again if then because he's the only owner on the Fresno county there's nothing we can do well yeah but so it's, what happens is that this is this is a lien on the property uh -huh. so if he's not the owner and the house has to sell this is how we protect ourselves which is signed well, by the property fight. they can owner. get on a trip and, and, and there's no way we can make them pay because if you know i'm not the owner but it's, <laughs> it's a lien yeah, so, so, it would be hard. so regardless of who I, the owner is it, regardless of who the the owner or who signed these documents the lien is attached to the property not to the person so that's why we record this and the property owner authorized us to record this because she signed this so she's she's authorizing us to file the lien on her property 
Um, and so in the event that she is no longer, like I've mentioned, passed, then we are still protected because we have this recorded. And so whether it's Mr. Inahosa, anyone else that sells the property, we will recoup our money. Yeah, I think um, <clears throat> the attorney need to look on this and make sure so this doesn't come up in 15 or 20 years from now. Like the same, like, like the same situation we have with Delia and her, and her mom and all the situation. And that, that, that is the uh, city attorney's recommendation. Correct. Do we have any other questions or comments from council? Do we have any questions or comments from the public regarding this item? I would like to say